Hello YouTube, I was going to make another video here, do a review of the Yezu 2900 awesome radio. Puts out 75 watts of power, maximum output. Change the settings, you can put out 10 watts, 25 watts, I forget the other settings. Uh, four different power settings, the maximum is 75 watts. And I can hit 40 or 50 repeaters. I'm now on uh, 147.345, which is a crossfield repeater at 2 meters. I'm talking on 2 meters. This is a repeater in Crossfield, Tennessee. I'm going to see if I can make a contact down there. It's 100 miles away. KM4ZMZ, looking to make a contact from Morristown, Tennessee. I hit the repeater. I can see that. No one comes back, we'll just go to another repeater. KM4ZMZ, Morristown, Tennessee, looking to make a contact. That repeater's linked to about three other repeaters, maybe three or four. They're all linked together, but I can hit that one by itself. So the thing about the Yezu is that I can control... A lot of things from just the mic that I'm holding in my hand, the microphone. I got an up and down button. I can scroll up and down on the frequencies. Program those frequencies in on the channels. I forget how many channels this Yezu 2900 has. It's got about 100. I've got about 100 things programmed into it. It's also got a uh, weather channel. F4 on the mic. Coming mostly cloudy. Lows in the upper 40s to mid 50s. Southeast winds 10 miles per hour or less. Sunday, patchy dense fog in the morning. So that's a pretty good uh, feature to have. Uh, got my own weather radio inside this 2900. That was the repeater, a recording on the repeater talking. KM4ZMZ, Morristown, Tennessee here in Hamlin County, Tennessee, trying to make a contact here on the Crossfield repeater. So I couldn't make any contacts on the Crossfield repeater. I went to Gate City repeater. It's in Gate City, Virginia. Done keyed down. I can hit that repeater in Gate City. KM4ZMZ, Morristown, Tennessee. Looking to make a contact here on the Gate City repeater. All those bars came back. Shows I hit the repeater. Hey, good evening from KW4AG. Hey, good to hear from you. You're loud and strong coming in here in Morristown, Tennessee. Uh, I'm talking on the AZ-2900, Capo Antana, 75 volts of power. My name here is Jerry. Hello, Jerry. Yeah, I'm talking on a uh, Bopang 5-watt radio from inside the house. Of course, I'm right here in Gate City, too. So, But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it seems to be working good for you at uh, 2,900. Hey, I got three or four of those bow things myself. I've got three 8 watts, and uh, I did have a 5 watt handheld. We got lost in that Noel Chucky flood. Uh, but I got three of those 8 watt bow things. Yeah, they work pretty good. Nothing wrong with that. You sound good, though. You sound good. Uh, the repeater does all the work, but they're still good radios.
Hey, good to hear from me. I ain't been on radio in about six or eight months. I'm trying to get back into this ham radio here. Uh, I'll say 73 for now, and I'm going to go around the frequencies and see if I can make a few more contacts. Uh, I'm here as Jerry, and uh, I'll say 73 and have a good night and a better day tomorrow. Okay, I'm for ZMZ for ID. All right, 73, Jerry. KW4AG. Pretty good contact going into Gate City here from uh, Tennessee. Uh, he's talking on a handheld of a Balfang made in China. I've got three or four of those radios. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I was actually talking to someone here beside me, and I keyed the mic down and started talking to this person. I was on the radio talking. I thought I was talking to this person beside me. Anyway. So we'll go around the frequency, see what other repeaters we can hit. I'll be back when I find one. We'll try a repeater in La Follette. La Follette, that's down below Knoxville. KM4ZMZ, looking to make a contact here from Morristown, Tennessee. I did not hit that repeater. The bars didn't come back to me. Let's try Elizabethan. I can hit Elizabethan. KM4ZMZ, looking to make a contact from Morristown, Tennessee. That is Elizabeth. That's the repeater. It's working. KM4 ZMZ, Morristown, Tennessee, here in Hamlin County, Tennessee, looking to make a contact. Hit the repeater again. Yezu's an awesome radio. Puts out 75 watts of power. Nobody there. We'll try another repeater. This is another repeater in Elizabeth and on Channel 7. You just saw me hit the repeater. KM4ZMZ, Morristown, Tennessee here, looking to make a contact. Delta 4, Charlie. Charlie, Papa, Johnson, Tennessee. Hey, this is KM4 ZMZ. Jerry down here in Morristown, Tennessee. Good to make a contact with you here. I ain't been on ham radio in a long time. Thought I'd get back on here. Uh, I'm talking on the AZ-2900. Good to meet you, Jerry. Name is Richard. That's what I go by on the air. Um, on 2900, that's a good solid radio. Uh, I've got its uh, younger brother. I got the 2980 in my car. Now, this is the 3200 here in the house. So, yeah, he's a good brand of radio. That should do you good. Got a good, good solid signal right into the repeater. Yeah, I like this radio. I wouldn't take my money back for it. I bought the 2980 and had it in the truck, and uh, my wife spilled coffee in the microphone. That radio's fried or something. It won't power back up. Done something to it. But I had the 2980. And uh, anyway, I'm talking on a J-PO. Uh, got it up about 40 feet. Copper J-PO. And got LMR low-loss cable. LMR 400 low-loss cable. And uh, good to hear from you. You're sounding good over here. So, yeah, likewise, Jerry. You got the uh, audio set just right. Uh, yeah. What, however you got to set it up, uh JB welded in place. You got you got a you got a good radio, good solid setup. Yeah, you should have no trouble getting into this uh, machine at all. Uh, Rolo's done a good job keeping this thing uh, pretty hot. Well, I thought I'd give you the contact, brother. You can log that one down. And uh, I'm usually a fixture here over on this repeater, so uh, I've listened way more uh, a lot more than I talk. But I usually have it on. 
time I get up till time I go to bed. So I'll say so three, Jerry. Good to make you acquaintance and jump in here anytime. You're more than welcome. This is KD4 CCP. Uh, clear on your final. Hey, I appreciate you coming back to me for a contact. I'll put you down in my logbook for sure. Uh, I'll say 73 and have a good night, a better day tomorrow, and I'll be back on this repeater. I got you on channel number seven here on my Yezu. Have a good day. So he said JB welded in place. He missed what I said. I said J pole, J pole antenna. It's made out of solid copper pipe. It's a piece of solid copper pipe. That's my J pole. So there you have it. I made a few contacts. I can hit. Uh, I hit the Crossville repeater. I, I know I can hit the repeater, and I've talked to Elizabeth in Johnson City, uh, Elizabeth in repeater, that is, and uh, made a few contacts. The JPO antenna works great. The AG2900 works great, and uh, yeah, I was talking there a minute ago, and I was keying the mic down talking on the repeater. Just wanted to give a demonstration about how good this AG2900 works. Uh, we can just hit the... I can scan around the bands, and it stops when someone's talking. That I tried is, to come back to him earlier, but. That is the Mount Mitchell repeater. I made a video a while ago talking on the Mount Mitchell. That is Mount Mitchell, North Carolina. That repeater is 6,600 feet up on Mount Mitchell in North Carolina. Made a contact there a while ago and talked a while, made a video, but give it a review here. The Yezu 2900, if anybody wants to buy one of these, if you can still find them, uh, I don't know what version they make. I've had this one about seven years. Works awesome. Thank you all for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Click like on the video. I'd appreciate that. I'll be back.